My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to The Hunt for Kiki Knock, also called, I guess, Jade Cocoon, a uh, JRPG on the PS1. Uh-oh, I clicked off the screen. No! Alright, let's get back out of that screen so that we can hunt down Kiki Knock himself. Oh, I have completely forgotten the control scheme of the video game. My apologies. There we go. Cool. Now, if I am correct, somewhere very soon we will encounter and fight Kiki Knock. There is a bag filled with sweet smelling powder on the floor. Oh, sleep spores, cool. So you can use those to force a creature to go to sleep so you can avoid fighting them. Hey, you're a cocoon master, right? What do you say to a quick little duel? Let's go for it. What? You're no fun. Oh, Don't you know who I thought I was going to say yes. Ha, I can't believe it. I am the strongest, most handsome guy in the forest. I go by many names, such as Birdman. After all, I am the legendary man of the Dragonfly Forest. It's hard being so famous. We have to ask this guy about the Calabasa. Uh... Call me Kiki Nak. Yes. Of course, that's only if you can defeat me. Well... Oh, finally, good. I, I was, I was wondering if I was accidentally, well, accidentally, I was wondering if he was going to turn down the fight there for a second. I was... That's just not kosher. Now, I imagine this person is probably non-elemental because it's a human being, but if they are elemental, they'll be elemental of... Uh, special fire attack. They will be elemental of air, so this will do the most damage. Or I could do no damage. That is also a thing that could transpire. Oh, okay. Okay. So, my standard attack does about as much damage as his, uh, special attack. Oh! But he has way higher speed than me. So he's gonna get in a lot more hits more frequently than I will. If it gets too close, I'll, uh, I'll heal up. But this actually should not be difficult. Redraft is kind of... Kind of a powerhouse. So, there is always the possibility that he gets two shots in next. So, wait, no, I can hit him one more time. Just no... Yeah, fuck, kill him. Yeah! Oh. Because switching to Jade, or Jade, Rhapsody, Levant, whatever you want to call him. Switching to the main character, healing up my dude, going back. Uh, it's just a huge rigmarole I don't want to have to take care of, to be honest. Plus, redraft, I would prefer <laughs> get all of the experience. You are so powerful. I've heard the rumors, but Cocoon Masters really are powerful. We get around, guys. So, you're from Cyrus, huh? Hmm. Well, now I've met two. Mm-hmm. If there's anything I can do for you, just ask me. From now on, we're friends. So, he's met two. Um, that means he's met my father. Calabas? My friend Yamu from the Spider Forest gave it to me. The only thing you'll find here in the Dragonfly Forest is sleep spores. If you want some Calabas, why not go talk to Yamu? Of course, there's always someone Yamu else to talk to. And there'll be another one, because there's four thing. forests. But I warn you, oh. without it, you can't get inside. Oh, right, the key, naturally. Oh, nice, some calabas powder. What? You haven't heard of him? Well, that's odd. My young friend was bragging so much. You don't know who it is. Kelmar? His name is Kelmar. He is strong, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's my best friend. What? You're friends with him, too? Oh, so it's you, <laughs> the cocoon master he was talking about. <laughs> that irrelevant character. Well, now, it's a small world. He said, no one is stronger than me, but strength does not make a powerful man. Strength alone is no match for what he has. Speaking of which, the power of man is so complicated, I just don't get it. Oh, okay, so that was actually just the full sentence. Don't worry, you can have it. We'll be able to meet anytime you... I'll tell you about my... The power of man is so confusing. I just don't get it. And then flies away, I guess. Apparently that was the end of the conversation. What if I no, wanted to say something? 
the greedy, and at times like a child. Excellent. Back in town. Oh, no. More exposition from Garai. Buckle up, guys. Well? Did you meet the Birdman? Yes. So, this... <laughs> I keep... I want to show you all of the story, but... They just the repeat what's already been said. If we can believe Kikinok, then it is true that the forest man has become the fallen spirit Mamon, as told in Nagi legend. Mamon. This so angered Elrum that he punished Mamon. It is said that Mamon was commanded to live. If Kikinok is the divine spirit Amos, who indulged in lust, then Yamu, the forest man, must be the divine spirit of Perhaps there is more about Yamu in the folk tales of Cyrus. Right. So, of course, she's going to tell me to go talk to all the people for more exposition. I'm sorry, but that's not essential. I'm not going to do that. No. <laughs> if I wanted to get into the lore, this, uh, this series would take 5,000 episodes. Excellent. Let's perform some Nagai magic. And... Oh, right. She purifies them first, of course, because there needs to be this scene here. If they could just let you skip them. Just a little bit snappier, guys. Just... Come on, Jake Coon. The pacing very, very much slows down at around this point. Uh, okay. So, we've got two Mashira. And yes, as I thought, they are high in... Yes. Yeah. Uh, they're, they are magic speed. That's what they are. So I've got... Ooh, attack speed? That's pretty good. Did I get another Mara Drag as well? I did not get another Mara Drag. They're exactly what I want. Their attack and speed. I need to go get uh, go get more Mardrag. I mean, they have high defense as well, which is surprisingly good. Um, okay, so Maskira gets merged with Maskira. And the result is... Oh, surprise, surprise! Maskira. View other abilities. Sleep. Ad Salam. Yep, nothing at all interesting there. That just has to happen. Because if I ever need air magic, then I'll... Um... Huh? I'll do that. I'll use that guy. Uh, no. You do not get named. You don't get the honor of a name if you are magical so far. Want to try merging some more? <laughs> are you coming on to me? Hiralko with Hiralko. Ends up with a pretty good Hiralko. Uh, ooh, excellent. So there is a plus accuracy on the horn, which means if I do horn stuff, it's gonna hit. I mean, such is self-explanatory when something has plus accuracy. Oh, gotta skip through this. But yeah, if I can get a horn attack on that beast, it will be very, very powerful indeed. Okay, it's done. Hiroko. I think Hiroko needs to be merged with something else before. So, Walkinch is three. So, what if... I mean, Mardreg is also three. So, what if I put a Mardreg with Walkinch... Then I end up with a much better attack, uh, and I lose a lot of the magic stats, and only one speed. But that does put it on the defensive side. What if I merge them in the other order? 
Ooh, kind of looked beastly as well. Wind attack on the horn. That all looks really good. That all looks very, very... No, 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 don't, don't merge them. That all looks very appealing. Let's start with Walk Inch this time. And then move down to Mardrag. So with this... I end up with a much slow... Yeah, it's it's better the other way around. <laughs> Ryan looks at spreadsheets. The Let's Play. Okay. Merge those two. Unfortunately, we lose the amazing name of Walk Inch. I'm not certain whether we should revive said name or whether we give him a new name. Hmm... Well, my dictionary is not nearby, so I'm going to go with using the same name again. Walkinch. Where are the letters for such a scene? Oh, man. I am still very tilted from something that happened in Hearthstone Arena. Walkinch. You may be able to hear it. My enthusiasm is a little... A little drops by it. Oh, it was bad. It was a bad one, guys. Oh, it was no good. Okay, so... Oh, shit, no. I can merge later. So, Mask Hero, not important. It's... It's just not good. Mm, nope. No, that won't do. Okay. Let's uh, just equip the Walkinch while it is possible to do so. And we'll leave that stuff there. What? Oh no. It's more exposition. Sigh. I'm sorry for asking you to come out of your way. It's just that it's hard to talk about things with Mother Gorai around. We used to be able to talk about everything. It's strange, isn't it? Hmm. You're leaving already? Yay! We completed the cutscene. Good work, guys. We selected the correct option, which is... Bye! Mm -mm. Okay, so let's go to somewhere that is actually slightly useful. The blacksmith. I kind of want to pick up some armor because I feel like, um... By himself, Levant is a little weak right now. Oh, right, this cutscene. His wife walks in, um... And scolds him, right? No? I only have 30 yarn? The fuck did I do? Sword of Speed looks really good. Little Bird looks amazing. But that's adding to Magic Attack, which I don't think I need. Hmm. Ooh, Silver Vest, Divine Vest. Divine Vest makes us slower. Silver Vest is... That looks good. Okay, so I guess what I want now is money. Come back when you got some money, buddy. Oh, right, there we go. That's the wife. Told you it was gonna happen. Just, no, don't, please stop. No, game, game. This is, this is not, this is not fighting people. There we go. <laughs> uh. Do the Xbox 360 and walk away. So, the way that you get money in this game, because I don't believe I'm... I think I may have either explained it really poorly or not explained it at all. The way you get money in this game is you capture beasts, and then you spin their cocoons. And, uh, their cocoons can be sold as silk. And... It's kind of cruel. Basically, you kill them and turn them into raw materials. And then sell the raw materials for money. Of course, the more powerful the beast is, the more money you get for said beast's remains. Oh, right. This this was a really important farming area, I remember. 
this is this is where I ended up grinding out a lot of a lot of the levels for my guys because these guys are powerful. So Earth is the only thing that beats that, and I don't have Earth, so I guess I have to use Mokambu. Because if I put out Redraft, it's possible that he gets killed in one hit. Yeah, this is going to be a really difficult fight. Do I have the ability to heal myself? Let's just check. Water on water attack. Okay, so it still does significant damage. So this guy looks like a pure magic user. I can heal myself if I'd like. How much does that take? Oh, not much mana at all. Excellent. Alright. We can definitely do one more of those. And then I think... Heal up now, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Now, I'm hoping that he's out of mana and that he only does those backslam attacks from now on. Although, actually, that might not be enough for me to win. Because he's doing about double the damage that I'm doing to him. I wonder if Walkinch can finish the battle. Because I don't want to give the experience to Redraft. I mean, Redraft has all of the experience in the world already. He is the most experienced. Or maybe I want to catch this thing. No, it's a magic user and it's water. But this guy's a magic user and he's water. I don't know. I don't know what I want. Um, I guess the most powerful attacks that this guy has have already been used. So let's just hope that this is good enough. Excellent. One standard attack should finish him off. This is actually going to be a lot of levels for Walk Inch. Yeah. This should level him up at least twice, if I remember correctly. Come on, Walkinch. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> Alright, let's check if he actually gained any new abilities doing that. No, nothing even slightly. I think you can only gain new abilities from, uh, from merging. So... I was just, just making certain. Ooh, nice. I'll, uh... Ooh, is it time to save? You know what? I'll go fight at least one more thing and maybe capture it. But after that, it should be about 20 minutes into the episode. And that's around the point that I want to cut the episode into, uh... Into another episode. Very well spoken, right? Ah, uh, this music! I remember, this is... This is this plays in the areas where you find Yamu. Apparently, uh, do you find him in a number of areas or something? Oh, there we go. It's a Yamu! Do I have a Kickleberry? Yeah, sure, I have a Kickleberry. So she doesn't know what that is. Yamu is big brother. Goodbye. I... Okay. I guess. Knowledge five. Excellent. So I now know that that's her big brother, Yamu. But... Is... What was the use of giving you my Kickleberry? I could have had that. Rude. Alright. Okay. Um, let's just quickly use our Great Walnuts, because there's no reason not to. And check that tablet we picked up as well. While turning to stone, your body gets harder with every turn eventually leading to death. Accuracy and avoidance will decrease while the body hardens. That's why we want uh, any any creature that has the turn to stone ability. Yes, please. Yes, sir, thank you. Even if I tank my stats by picking that up, it's such a good ability. 
Uh, and we're at about 20 minutes, so I'm gonna go back down here and save and end the episode. Let's save it in this slot. Excellent. My name's been Rhapsody, that's been Jake Coon. If you've liked the episode, click like. If you didn't, click dislike. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more videos like this now, you'll be able to find a link in the playlist down below. It's here in the description down below to a playlist with all of the Jake Coon content that I currently have. Hopefully you've enjoyed yourself, and we'll see you next time.